I would like to know what Marco Rubio would specifically do to support Israel, especially right now. I mean, an American citizen was just killed in a terror attack, and I'd like to know what he would do to support Israel. And welcome back to our special Kelly File, face to face with the candidates. Tonight, we are coming to you from Hialeah, Florida. Back with me now, Senator Rubio. And you just heard that question, Senator, about Israel yep. and your approach as president with Israel. Well, first, let's understand Israel is not just another country. Israel was created for a very special purpose, to serve as the homeland for the Jewish people in the aftermath of the Holocaust. What Israel asks of the United States is just two things. Number one, that we support them in international forums, because Israel faces a historic challenge to their legitimacy. You have this international effort to delegitimize them. And two, they ask us that if they run out of weapons to defend themselves, that we resupply them. Both of these things have been put in doubt by this president. When I'm president, those things will never be in doubt. We will use our veto power at the United Nations to protect Israel, and we will rearm them every time they need to to be able to defend themselves. And on my first day in office, I will cancel Barack Obama's deal with Israel's mortal enemy, the Ayatollah of Iran. Now, you know the criticism of doing that. If we cancel the deal, We've already given them the money. We've already given them the carrots. And now now we're going to impose the bad stuff on them, supposedly, with respect to this deal. And so if you cancel the deal, well, how does it hurt them? Well, first of all, they may have received some of their frozen assets, but the bottom line is that they won't, they, what they're going to benefit from on an ongoing basis is the ability to conduct transactions and business with American and other Western companies. And so the bottom line is this. When I'm president of the United States, companies in the private sector is going to have to choose. They can do work in the American economy or they can do work in the Iranian economy, but they will not be able to do both until Iran allows a full inspection of their military sites and all of their facilities and can prove to the world that they are not building a nuclear weapon from which they will try to destroy Israel and threaten and blackmail the world. Yeah.